Ryan Nose Tech here from techinform.us, and today's simple request video is actually going over a program that's been built in OS X since 10.5 and 10.6, I think. Could be before that. I'm not a super experienced Mac user before 10.6.3, uh, but it's actually called... Um, Time Machine, and it is super nice backup software. Lots of people think I have a Mac, oh, I don't need to worry about security and backups. Security, um, a little bit more, you have less security vulnerability um, as far as viruses, because there's a lot less viruses. But backups are always a good idea. If your hard drive breaks, you lose your computer, you delete something, you want to refer back to it, it's never a bad idea to create often backups. So Time Machine, built into OS X, is all you're ever going to need to back your stuff up. It's really fast, it's really easy. Uh, it's just great software that's obviously free since it's being built into the operating system. And I'm sure that it will be an OS line as well. So uh, I do not actually have my Time Machine drive plugged in right now. I will be plugging it in momentarily, but I'll show you what it looks like. So to open it, as you probably saw I just did, you can hold Command and Space, get up to uh, Spotlight, and then I just typed in M-A-C-H for Machine and it indexed it as the top hit. Go ahead and open it there. Um, my Time Machine backup disk can't be found. Well, that's because it's not plugged in. So we'll click up Set Up New. Pretty straightforward so far. And here is the control panel. Everything is operated from here. Uh, name Time Machine. Well, that's default. I don't have anything plugged in. Available, nothing plugged in. Oldest backup, nothing plugged in. Latest backup was delayed because I plugged it in and I just killed it. Um, next backup, when the Mac is plugged in, because I have it set to only backup when it's plugged in. And then as you can see, there's a master switch here where I can turn on or off Time Machine if I want it to do backups for me. can also tell it, uh, if, if I'm going to use it more often, uh, to put a little icon up here, which is nice. So I can uh, control backups. Maybe I want to do it every day or every week. I can uh, specify all that from up there. So um, if you're new to this, you probably want to plug in a flash drive, a hard drive, um, a network time capsule. If you have the Apple time capsule, somebody asked me what that is. It is a Apple Airport Extreme, the best router that Apple makes as compared to the Airport Express, and a hard drive in either a gig or a terabyte or two terabytes, I think. You know, they've changed the sizes. I think there used to be a 500 bang gig. I've got my scale mixed up, but now they have a tear and two tear. So um, I've heard a lot of bad stuff about it. I really don't recommend buying one. I bought a 500 gigabyte Western Digital pocket drive for like 80 bucks. So they're getting cheap. And it's only 5400 RPM, but I don't do very often backups. So select a disk. Um, as you can see, when I plug my disk in, it will show up here. Stop backing up if I wanted it to stop, if it had started yet. And then setting up a time capsule can be done by clicking that button. Options, not a whole lot of options in here. You can specify it to back up well on power if you want. I don't do that because it usually takes about eight hours to back up everything I have on here. Uh, estimated size of full backups, 149.59 gig. That's that's pretty big. Then there's also an option, notify me after old backups are deleted. That could be nice. When the when the drive fills up, which is probably going to happen if your backups are 150 gig apiece, uh, it'll just start deleting the oldest one and overwriting it with the newest one, which makes sense. Uh, you can also tell it not to back things up. Like if I didn't want it to back up my system folder, maybe only applications and documents, I could go in here and show invisible stuff and tell it things not to back up, which is great if you don't want to waste 150 gig on your disk. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and plug in that Western Digital Scorpio Passport Pocket thing for Mac. Okay, you should see Time Machine after the hard drive revs up here. There it is. Mounted it to the desktop. If it tries to do backup, actually I'm not plugged in, so it won't right now. But now that it's plugged in, it, uh, if I went in here to options and told it to back up well on battery power, it would start backing up. Notice it says next backup when the Mac is plugged in. Available, I only have 222 gig out of 400. Now I shrunk it by 100 gigs for uh, other software and drivers on that other 100 gig partition. If I needed to, I could just remove that. Um, so if I were to plug it in or uncheck that option, it would just start backing everything up. And it takes probably... I don't know. I've, I've done it in two hours, and that's only my media. If I want to do a full system backup, as I said before, that can be between six and ten hours, of course, depending on your USB connection, your hard drive, your computer, pretty much uh, lots of factors here. So um, let's take a look in, I think it's Time Machine? Nope. Files. I think files is what would do that. Maybe not, because there's the old iPhone unboxing. There is a way, I'm sure. Actually, I think you open it. Well, you have the drive plugged in. Here it is. 
when you have your drive plugged in, open Time Machine. This is what's super cool. You can go back, whenever you've made a backup, it makes a little thing over here on the right. This would go all the way up to your oldest backup at the top and the newest one on the bottom. So as you can see, I only have three backups. June 2010, when I backed up my original MacBook Pro and installed everything new on this MacBook Pro. September, I made one after that. November, and I should probably be making one soon. So here's my desktop. I can cycle through. Let's go back to June, which was Tuesday, June 22nd, 2010. And here's what my desktop looked like in June. Looks like I had a screenshot on here of... A something was being delivered. I don't know what it was, but it was delivered on June 23rd by 3 p.m. from Fort Worth, Texas. I actually have no idea what that was. <laughs> but isn't that cool? I can go back and view it. Just like this is a live folder, I can browse in here. Here I had some wallpapers. Just, just like it's live, and I can leave the leave the desktop. It's not 100% super fast like the computer is, but it's definitely usable. Browse documents here. Office documents, this is my documents folder, and there's everything that I had all the way back from um, from June. I can go into downloads, nothing was there at that point. And then I can browse the system files, Macintosh HD, library. This is just like a live copy of my, my hard drive from back in June. Now if I wanted to restore something, let's say I was missing, how about we go over to documents, other media, let's say I missed that file. I could click on restore down here. It would just pop that file, boom, right there in current time. It's going to copy 6,000 items. I don't want to do that. Um, keep both cancel. How about that? It's 1.6 gig. Skip it. So that uh, kind of exited me from the application. We'll go back into it real quick. There we go, cool animation aside. Then we can go to November, it's the same thing. Uh, any date that you choose, this was actually Monday, November 2nd, so just about a month ago today. Actually a month ago yesterday, that's what my desktop looked like. So it really doesn't get much easier than this. And uh, there's actually another way um, that you can do a restore. And this is the way I did it when I first got this Mac, the second MacBook Pro. The old MacBook Pro, I brought the new one home, set it on the floor, didn't even open it up yet. Um, the old one, I plugged this in, opened Time Machine, and backed everything up, did a whole system backup. Got the new MacBook Pro, filmed the unboxing, put it on my desk, um, plugged the hard drive in before I even booted it up, then booted it up. This would work, Jeff, if you're going to replace your hard drive. Uh, he was the one who requested this video. Um, Jeff, just plug in your hard drive. You know, get your hard drive installed, the, the physical one inside the computer, then plug in your backup drive, then boot it into the fresh copy of OS X. Well, you know, install OS X first. But your first OS X boot, plug in your backup hard drive. When you open it up, when you first boot your first... Uh, first boot of OS X, there's going to be an option, um, do you want to restore from backup? Well, that's where you click yes, and it'll find your hard drive. It knows Time Machine. It all talks to each other really, really easily. And um, then you can tell it what to restore. And I will tell you, if you do a full system restore with your old computer, you get your new computer or your new hard drive or whenever you're doing this backup, and you do a full backup, and then you log into your new computer that was just restored from the old backup, it is identical completely identical and I love that so much about Apple because whenever I'd get a new PC or have to reinstall Windows because it was slow after 24 hours after the first installation I'd log in and, and nothing nothing was there you had to change everything or customize your start menu everything had to be done with OS 10 you spend a few hours backing it up you spend another it only takes probably 25 percent of the time to restore it that it did to back it up it got my dock icons Everything was right. My dock size, my zoom, the icons on my desktop, my bookmarks, my settings in Safari. It knew my mail password. My music was here. Everything. There was not one single thing that was different. Not one thing that was different from the other computer. So just flawless. I really, really give props to Apple for this amazing job. Only problem is it takes a while to back up because there's so many files. And uh, they take up a lot of space, but you know that's that's just um, the file formats that we're working with and the mass quantity of files. So Time Machine is an incredible application that uh, Apple has implemented implemented into uh, Apple OS 10 here. That is uh, really just phenomenal. So thanks for watching this video. I hope I helped somebody out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, uh, drop me a line down below. I look forward to reading those. Our website is fully back up and functional now. If you're, if you're a new user or an old user that uh, would like to sign up again after our recent downtime and data 
uh, failure, server failure. Um, you can use the links that were in a couple days ago video, or if you go to the website or contact me, Ryan at techinform.us, I can get your link. We haven't got the links on the homepage yet. Lots of work going on, um, but you can sign up again. Uh, we're excited to get uh, a lot of you back, and we do appreciate all the posts that have come in. We've got a crap load here. So uh, my Twitter for more information is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then Tuesday night, catch me on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus on our annual Tuesday night every week web show. That is again from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'll see you guys there or in Friday's video. Almost Friday. Happy Friday. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Leave me a comment, like, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.